So uh, today we'll be checking out our new plugin that's the OpenGuard SunSky Connector. Now this particular plugin integrates the SunSky store with your OpenGuard web store and allows the admin of the OpenGuard web store to import products from the SunSky e-commerce store into your OpenCart web store very easily. The plugin performs real-time updates of the synchronized products price and quantity. Apart from that, the imported products can be sold out within your OpenCart web store and the admin can view the list of the orders placed for the SunSky imported products. Now the admin can also create price rules for the products to import from SunSky to your OpenCart web store and a price range can be set for the rules to apply and the rule applies to all of the SunSky products being imported that fall within that particular price range. Uh, with the help of the price rules, the price of the SunSky products can be increased or decreased as required and uh, you can import simple and configurable products but for the configurable products when you are uh, importing the configurable product from the SunSky into your OpenCart web store, uh, all of those uh, configurable products uh, become individual products after import within your OpenCart web store. So before I proceed further and show you the workflow of this particular plugin at the OpenCart uh, platform based web store backend panel and uh, how we can import the products uh, uh, one, uh, one by one and in bulk as well or in multiples as well. Uh, but before that, uh, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. So first of all, I'll be taking you to the admin backend panel and uh, I'll be showing you the initial configuration settings. Then we'll see how we can import the products and the rest of the options that are available in the admin backend for the SunSky uh, connector for the OpenCart platform based web stores. So here at the SunSky, you can see that right now I'm on their, one of their pages there. So this is a Blackwave R3 Pro 1.5 inch color screen Bluetooth 5.0 oh smart, uh, smartwatch. And similarly, we have other products as well. The first one uh, is having a, is a configurable one having three different colors. These two are simple ones. So I'll be uh, importing the configurable and the simple products as well. And I'll be showing you the workflow uh, thereafter. So let's uh, hop on to the admin backend panel first to check the backend configuration. So I'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering my username and the password. So uh, after the successful installation of this particular plugin, uh, the admin will find the Webcool SunSky online option here. Under that, he has three different options. One is the SunSky online products, SunSky online orders, and pricing rules. Now under the SunSky online products, here uh, initially you'll uh, find uh, none of these imported products uh, from the SunSky itself. As you can see, here we have the products from SunSky. Here we have imported one uh, configurable product. So all of those have become symbol uh, products here within the OpenCart web store. So here we have the SunSky online product ID, uh, their status and the actions column to with the products there or to edit the product uh, there. For example, if I tap here on the edit button, we can edit this particular Oppo Realme C21 crazy horse texture magnetic uh, buckle horizontal flip leather case. So here we have the product name. Here we have the description that is there, uh, the meta title, the tag, the keywords. Uh, here we have the data, we have the model number. Here we have the price. Here we have the quantity that's uh, synchronized from the SunSky into our store. And uh, here we have the images of the product as you can see. Uh, multiple images are there of this particular product. Let me cancel that out. So under the uh, option that's the SunSky online products here, what uh, we can do is we can uh, basically import the products from SunSky into our uh, OpenCart web store. Uh, we can do it in uh, three different ways. One is uh, uh, the first one is uh, to uh, import the products in bulk. So what we need to do is we need to have the SunSky online product ID. So how to find the product ID, I'll show you. So uh, for that, you'll have to go to any of the products there. Let's open this product. And on the product page, if I scroll down a bit here, I have the item ID. So this is the SunSky ID that we need to use. Let's get back. Now uh, we can do it in th uh, three different ways. One is we can download a sample product file. 
it's a csv or a comma separated value file wherein you can enter uh, this particular id or these ids all together for five products 10 products 20 products all together and uh, then what you need to do is you need to save that file you need to upload that file here and then tap here on the import products and that will import the products from sunsky into your open Cut web store in bulk the other one is to uh, do it one by one just paste the uh, item number here this one the item id and uh, after that just tap here on the import uh, uh, products button and that will import the product uh, one by one you can switch to the import multiple products at uh, one time by tapping here on the switch to import multiple products as well so here what you need to do is if you want to import multiple products just separate their ids uh, by a comma and you can do that uh, up and then you can import the products in multiple as well apart from that after you have uh, imported the products you can uh, filter the product out to check whether it has been imported or not uh, by entering the id here or the sunsky online product id here and tapping on the filter button thereafter for example if i have this product that i've uh, imported i want to see if it uh, has been imported or not i'll enter that up and i'll tap on the filter button and yes i can see that that has been imported the same sunsky online product id is here and the same is here so this is just an overview i'll just show you how we can do that uh, as well now uh, coming to the other one that's the sunsky online orders here the admin will find the complete list of orders that have been placed for the sunsky products that have been imported from the sunsky into the open cart web store and that have been purchased through the open cart web store itself so i'll show you that as well in a while from now and lastly we have the pricing rules here are the pricing rules that you can see so from here you can uh, create pricing rules so you can create the channels for that one is the manual and the other one is the sunsky uh, channel you can set the price range for the products you can choose the uh, operation type as uh, adding the amount decreasing the amount or multiplying the amount you can set the amount type to fixed percentage and you can enter the amount there as well that would be applied to the imported products uh, there uh, that fall within the particular price range for the price rule that you have created now these are the options that we get under the web cool sun sky online uh, section here but uh, we also have some initial configurations so for that you'll have to navigate through extensions and then extensions then uh, on the extensions page here you'll have to choose the extension type as modules and here you'll have to navigate to the uh, sun sky connector tap on the edit button then enable this particular functionality of the sun sky connector so that you are able to import the products from the sunsky into your open cut web store otherwise to disable this functionality choose disable for this particular connector then you have to enter your sunsky online key and the online secret key so you have to have that first and then you'll have to enter those two things here and then tap here on the save button now let's go back to the sunsky online product section now for the uh, import of the products in bulk let me give you an overview uh, first but before that uh, let's see how we can import the product one by one so let's import this product uh, that we have here uh, that's the blackwave r3 pro 1.5 inch so i'll just copy the item id here of the sun sky i'll paste it up here within the search product by item number and then i'll tap here on the import products on the prompt i'll tap here on the ok and this will the start the synchronization or the import of the product and here you can see that please keep patience it may take some time so let's wait for the product to be imported into our open cart web store okay the product has been successfully imported as you can see here now uh, here's the product id let me copy it up here's the name kindly uh, keep it in mind black view r3 pro and now let me filter it out to check whether it has been imported or not let's filter it out and let me come down so here's the black wave r3 pro 1.5 inch uh, color screen bluetooth uh, 5.0 smartwatch this is the same product here black wave r3 one that we have imported from the sun sky itself 
So that's how you can import the product very easily. You can also edit the details by tapping here on the edit button. Now here's the uh, uh, Sun, uh, Sunsky online product ID. It's 101B in the last. And here we have uh, 101B in the last. As you can see, the same ID is there. So that was for the verification purposes. Now I've edited. Here's the product name. Here's the complete description being uh, fetched. The rest of the details are here for the meta title tag. Under the data, we have the model. We have the price of the product. We have the quantity there. So here, if you can see here, we have the case of 50 units. That was the quantity there. And uh, let's get back. And uh, here we have the images, all of the images of the product. As you can see now the same images are here as you can see all of the images have been imported from the product there now coming back here let me cancel this uh, out let's go back to a particular section so that was how we can import one product now uh, the same goes uh, for if you want to import multiple product you just need to paste their IDs and then tap on the uh, import button let me show you that as well so we have done with this uh, first product now let's go but before that let me show you the details of this uh, product at the storefront as well so let me copy this up and let me go to the storefront once so here I'm at the storefront and let me paste the name of the product let me search it up so here you can see that that was a configurable product so we have three different colors here if you again want to see that up uh, let me tap here and uh, that this is the main product and here you can see that we have same model in different colors one two and three three different colors are there so the same is visible here one two and three different colors are visible now the customers can easily add them to the cart let's add them to the cart let's make a check out thereafter so let me make a check out okay let me log into my account there and let me choose my address we choose my okay California continue let me choose my address there continue continue I'll check this up continue here's the product let's place the order let's confirm the order there now after we have confirmed the order the same order would be visible uh, in the uh, back end there as well let's check the order history See the order ID is six for seventy six pounds and nine seven uh, cents there. So uh, now uh, let me go to the back end. Now, if I want to wish to wear this particular order, I can go to the Sunsky online orders. So here's the John Doe seventy three point nine o pounds. The same order is visible and reflected here. So uh, that's how uh, the uh, product can be imported and uh, the orders can then be placed from the front end by the customers for those products uh, very easily and how those uh, particular orders can be viewed by the admin under the Sunsky online orders. Now comes the other thing that's the Sunsky online products. Let's come back to this section. So that was how we can uh, import the products one by one now uh, how we can download the sample product file first and how we can import the products in multiple or in bulk as well so i'll just show you that so first let's download the sample product file the file has been downloaded let me open the file it's a comma separated file so let me open that up now so here's the csv file that's the product csv file so here you need to enter your uh, sunsky product id there as i've already shown you from the uh, sunsky product page uh, these uh, IDs are to be uh, copied up uh, these and these uh, are to be copied off multiple products there 10 20 30 as you wish and then you'll have to come back and you'll have to paste them up here uh, you'll paste them up like this then you'll save the file after saving the file you'll close uh, this particular file down and uh, you'll go back to your particular uh, section there that's the Sunsky online products here you'll again upload that particular file uh, that CSV file uh, so I'll just go to my download section here's the product CSV file I'll open that up 
I've opened that up then just tap here on the import products and the products would get automatically imported as I've already imported one product then comes the other thing that switch to import multiple products so now you can import multiple products as I've already told you by uh, separated by a comma so ID should be there separated by commas and then you'll have to tap on the import products and the products would get imported within your open guard with store there very easily now coming to the last section here that's the pricing rule here as I've told you we can create multiple price rules we can add we can delete and we can edit any of the pricing rules that we've created we can add from here we can delete by selecting the rule first so for example we have this one I'll just delete that up so I've deleted that up we can edit any rule by tapping on the edit button making the changes tapping on the save button for example I want a negative one for that I'll save that up I've saved that up to add a new one just tap here on the add button set the price uh, rule name choose the channel whether we want to have it as a manual or the sun sky choose the price range let's set it as from 1 to 100 uh, the operation type you want to add it up or you want to decrease it or you want to multiply you want to have it as fixed to percentage uh, here we have a fixed one already let's make it as percentage let's set the amount as uh, uh, percentage uh, as two percent and let's tap here on the save button thereafter so you can see that the price rule uh, has been created let me scroll down UG live channel and Aliexpress price from and two values the amount uh, type that's uh, the application applicability is per in percentage and the amount that would be uh, applicable in percentage is 2% there you can also edit it by tapping here on the edit making the changes there and tapping on the save button thereafter so uh, yeah that was much about today's video tutorial and uh, I hope it helped you out in understanding a brief overview of the uh, plugin that we have uh, just created that's the open card sun sky connector and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions, or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com, raise a ticket at webcool.us.com. You can also check the user guide and the live demo that I have attached within the description of this particular video for more uh, understanding there. And if you find this particular video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.